Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In the SEC, there is one certainty. You never get a rest. You never get a chance to catch your breath. If you don't believe it, just try taking your C game or something to a place like Lexington or Nashville or Starkville. You know what will happen? You'll walk out with a loss. You have to bring your best in every single game in the SEC. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Sitting near the tallest of the mountains in the Ozark Mountain Range, we're in Fayetteville, Arkansas, for what should be a great game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Roberts is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He might not be able to get the pass off. He gets sacked on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Just throws this one away. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Scott takes it at the 45. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 34-yard line, second down. Makes his way to about the 22. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. He's on the run. Runs with it and he's got room. Decides to slide. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12-yard line. 
He'll pick up the first down on that carry, even though he only gained about a yard. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes, right around the four-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And the goal line defense digging in here. Brought down right around the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it third and one. tight end for a touchdown. The quarterback went to one of his favorite targets that time. You bet, Brad. It's the big tight end who has nice hands. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 39-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 7-0. Arkansas is ready to kick it away. Lloyd from the one. At the 30. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. The Razorbacks are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 44-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. tailback tackle right around the 36 yard line getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense there aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage that's for sure he has some room runs right for a nice game that makes it second and two That's going to be a first down. The back got about five yards on the play. You know, there may have been a little bit of uncertainty there by the front seven. They did read the option. And they knew it was coming. But they were just a step too slow to stop it from being a good game. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Second and 15. Ball on the 29-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, the Razorbacks with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Go 
Goes over the middle, intercepted. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From their own 12-yard line, first down. Arkansas is up by a touchdown. Starks gets the carry. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. across the middle to his tight end. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 29. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Arkansas is up seven. Complete. He's got room. Out of bounds at the 28. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he's taken down at the 14 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14. Five wide. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 25-yard line. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Love to see the goose eggs up there for this defense. And the way their offense is playing, this game is really shaping together for this team. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Throws a strike over the middle. He's tackled right around the 40. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. release tight end incomplete that's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there they need to get their signal straight second down 10 to go ball on the 40 
And they make the stop at the 44. Lucas gains four yards on that reception. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. that quickly incomplete that pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly young is waiting for the snap he wasn't breaking that tackle what a hit Arkansas has put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability, and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He goes out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. Johnson will pick up a first down on the play with a six-yard completion. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. That makes it second and ten. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Dog four. Blue four. Blue four. And he's hit immediately. That's a That'll bring up third and two. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Mike 41. Black five. Black five. Got an opening. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 34. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 26. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, nine. Three, nine. He's hit and taken down. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. The Razorbacks use their second timeout. This is the eighth play of this drive. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Make it three passes for touchdowns. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 71-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. So the score now, 21-0. Roberts has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 32. Yards. 
It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Quick throw, and he's tackled around the 45-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. He scrambled. Tackle around the 21 yard line. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Now he's scrambling. And they get this sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it to the end zone. No, incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half. 21 to nothing, Arkansas. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. That first half performance did anything but thrill this fan base. I was sort of sneaking around perusing the internet a little bit. Oh, don't uh, go, don't uh, go to those uh, blogs, brother. We, we have some people, they have the hand firmly on the panic <laughs> button right now. Relax. Take a step back. Everything remain calm. Well, I mean, for the time being, yes, it's not over yet. It's only 30 minutes. They don't. Last time I checked, the games don't go final until you finish the second half, and you got time to put something together. Would I be worried? Yes. Am I surprised of how this has gone so far? Yes. But there's still time to put some drives together. Start inning in the third quarter. You've got to get things going early. You can't waste any more time. You just wasted the first 30 minutes. It's time to get something going the first few minutes of the second half. Get some positive mojo going. Hey, maybe even the fans will start cheering again and they'll stop booing and throwing popcorn and stuff. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From the seven, he makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You know, I've been so caught up in these offensive players, the quarterback and the receivers, and what's happening on the field. i got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done, preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. Taking the field again now is the offense. And I gotta tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. He fights forward to about the 30. That's a game one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Open field, and they push him out at about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. 
And a quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. Makes the second yard line. That'll, That'll make, make it second and seven. Tight, tight. 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 Down, down. Mike 41, Mike 41. X seven. Six. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it to the 45-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Gets out to about the 21. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Zips it to the back. And he's level at the 39. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Makes it out to about the 49. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. to the tight end and that falls incomplete. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Scott is back deep to return. Brought down at the 29-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Nice run there. Starks comes away with five yards on the carry. It's second and five here. Ball on the 34. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
with a three play 71 yard drive and the result seven points the score now 28 nothing the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. The Razorbacks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. The screen is good for four. That makes it second and six. Yeah, right. Mike Barr. Mike Barr. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 48. That's a game of 21 on the way. First down. You don't want nothing. You don't want nothing. Hey, you don't want to see me. You don't want it. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. middle got his back and he's taken down around the 49 yard line without a monumental comeback in the fourth quarter this one's over Arkansas leads it 28 nothing Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Lloyd on the inside handoff. Well, that's a nice stop right there here early in the fourth quarter, but they've made those kind of plays all day, and that's why we've got a blowout on our hands. So they're going to go for it here. strike and he drops it it's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with but when you're behind sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game both teams are playing out the stretch here you want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries Arkansas with a big advantage They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 44. They come out in a five wide set. And two. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 44. They give to the tailback. And down he goes at the 44. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10.
gets it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. They'll line it up again on third down. converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese? Baylor in action over in Waco. The Bears hammer that running game and score a touchdown. West Virginia with the lead, 10-7. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Roberts is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. Arkansas State's been doing special things on offense all season long, and not today. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Oh, I didn't expect to see this at all. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. And he hits him hard at the 29. Just under two minutes in the game. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a game of 10. First down. Inside handoff. Locked down at the 40 yard line. They're late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Young awaits the snap. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Arkansas has proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Just a total lack of competition today. Arkansas 35, Arkansas State nothing. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.